أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd my dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends i greet you all with the greetings of islam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may the peace and blessings of god almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the islamic forum of canada where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God Almighty, reveals a beautiful verse in this Qur'an that we want to share with you some reflections today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, وَلَنَبُلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجِوْعِ وَنَقُسٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتُ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةً وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُحْتَدُونَ In this beautiful verse from Surah Al-Baqarah, the second chapter of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala offers us, God Almighty offers us, uh, practical guidance for our daily life, our daily affairs, the especially difficulties and challenges that come to us in our lives. How do we respond to challenges and adversities in our life? And God Almighty wants us to pass the test that He gives to us uh, in our lives. And sometimes we are tested with loss of life, loss of property, uh, loss of possessions, loss of wealth, and so on. Uh, we are tested in different ways with different challenges. How do we respond to these tests that we are faced with in life? We must know that uh, our lives will never be smooth all the time. There are ups and downs in life. And Islam teaches us how to respond in both ways, when we have much, when we are blessed with much, and also when we are tested with loss of some of the things that we have. How do we respond? And this now is the essence of Iman, of faith, true faith in God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, we remain close to Allah, we remain committed in our worship of God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all situations. This is how the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, the Prophet Muhammad wants us to be and to become. So he says in hadith, عَجَبًا لِأَمْرِ الْمُؤْمِنِ إِنَّ أَمْرَهُ كُلَّهُ خَيْرٌ وَلَيْسَ ذَلِكَ لِأَهَدٍ إِلَّا الْمُؤْمِنِ that wonderful indeed is the state of affairs of a believer. In all their affairs, there is goodness for them. Uh, and, and so he tells us uh, if good things come to them in situations of happiness and ease, 
they are thankful to God Almighty. They recognize the source of that blessing in their life. It is from God Almighty. And this is what you need to be mindful of. Uh, when you are blessed with, with good things, and alhamdulillah, uh, we are blessed with so many good things in our lives, in this society. Recognize that the source of that is God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and therefore express thanks and gratitude to Him. And He tells us in the Quran, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ And if you are thankful and grateful to me, to God Almighty, I shall increase you with uh, my bounties, with my blessings. And in a similar way now, when we are faced with difficulties, with trials, we should be patient. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ دَرَّا صَبَرَا فَكَانَ خَيْرٌ لَهُ That when uh, the trials come to you, you are patient and you persevere in your iman, in your belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in your worship of God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this patient perseverance uh, is good for you. In, in the guidance from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And today in our program, I want to share with you a beautiful story, incident between a sheikh and his murid, his student, uh, where he wanted to teach his student uh, this important lesson in life. Uh, the student came to him one day and complained about the difficulties he, he was faced with in his life and wanted to give up and uh, said that he uh, had lost uh, hope in, 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 in doing anything good uh, in facing these difficulties that he was faced with for, for so long and he wanted to know some advice from his sheikh what he should do and the sheikh illustrated a beautiful example to teach him how to deal with different adversities in life and inshallah in our next segment we'll talk something more about this may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you at the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, Scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, Words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. was narrated that Rasulullah was asked why he fasts Mondays. He said, it was the day I was born. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, those whom are engaged in my mentioning, I am with them as if I was their companion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him, said, Khayrukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allamahu. The best of you is the one who studies this Quran or study Islam and then teach it to others. And so we invite you to join the special program, the education program at Islamic Forum. As you saw in the clip now, wonderful students studying Quran, studying Islam, uh, and that knowledge, inshallah, will remain with them for 
rest of your life. And I want to encourage you to uh, come uh, next Saturday to the Islamic Forum, register your children, youth, teenagers for the special Saturday Islamic School starting at 10.30 in the morning. Uh, and then we have adult class on Friday evenings from 7 p.m. Uh, for Quranic studies, Islamic studies, uh, come out and join that program as well. Throughout the week, there are different halakhas for specialized classes and advanced studies. Uh, you can come out and join these programs and benefit uh, from the wonderful educational services we have at the Islamic Forum. For those of you who are in other cities, you live in other cities or uh, in other countries, uh, you can still benefit from the education programs of, of, of the Islam Forum through our online courses. Uh, we have many online courses. They're all free of charge. And as long as you have internet, internet access, you can uh, study these online courses. You go to the Islam Forum website and register for these courses and start this wonderful journey of knowledge of Islam uh, with us, inshallah. Also, I want to remind you of the family program this evening, the Maulid, our weekly family program every Saturday starting at 6 p.m. For your entire family, come out and join us at the Islamic Forum. If you have any specific requests for dua, let us know so we can make special dua and supplication for you. Perhaps you have a relative that has passed away, parents, grandparents, family members, loved ones, uh, someone is ill in your family, and so on. Whatever your dua request is, let us know so we can make dua for you. If you'd like to sponsor these programs, contact Islamic Forum for, for the details. There are some upcoming programs I want to inform you of that you can reserve the date and make arrangements to attend these programs. The first is the Curry Q Festival on Sunday, March 29th, uh, starting at 1 p.m. at Islamic Forum. Uh, you can contact Islamic Forum through the website or call us uh, to purchase your tickets. And if you'd like to sponsor the program or contribute to the sponsorship of the program, please let us know, inshallah. So that's the Curry Q Festival, the annual Curry Q Festival, Sunday, March 29th. And then the annual Hafla, uh, we have every year uh, during the Good Friday Easter weekend. So from uh, Friday, April the 3rd until Monday, April the 6th, uh, the special annual Hafla or annual Islamic festival. There is a special Good Friday Jum'ah uh, that uh, is a wonderful experience. It is the largest Jum'ah we have for the year. Uh, following Jum'ah, there is the, the Hafla food fair that we have. Then on the Saturday, the 4th of April, we have a special secret knowledge seminar. Uh, prophetic miracles is the theme of our seminar this year, the Sacred Knowledge Seminar, Sunday, the family trip, and Monday, the brunch. So a weekend of wonderful activities. Uh, we want you to come out and join us for that program. Remember also, uh, tomorrow or later tonight, uh, daylight saving time start. It's springtime, so the time would spring forward by one hour. Um, so do be mindful about that. But I also want to mention to you the time for the programs at the Islamic Forum will remain the same. So, for example, Juma Salah will remain 1 p.m. every Friday throughout the year. So next Friday, Juma continues to be to start at 1 p.m. with Adhan, inshallah. Uh, and the other programs remain the same time as we've mentioned on this program. But I just want to alert you for the DST Daylight Saving Time, inshallah. The, the story of our program today, this incident, I want to share with you so we can learn some relevant lessons. So the student, the Murid, came to a sheikh requesting some advice. And, and this is always a good thing to do, to go to your sheikh and request advice so you can know how to respond to your personal situation, to your personal challenges based on Quran and Sunnah, based on what is mentioned in the Quran and what is from the prophetic guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So the Sheikh took him into his kitchen and he placed uh, three pots with water on the on his stove and turned the stove on so uh, the, the, after a while the water starts to boil. And he asked the student, his Marie, to pay attention and observe what is happening. And then he took uh, some carrots and put it in one of the pots. And then he took some eggs and put it in the second pot. 
And then in the third pot, he took some ground uh, coffee beans, put it in the third pot, and it allowed it to boil about 15 minutes. And then he turned off the stove. And he asked the student, what you see here? And the student said, carrots, eggs, and coffee. So then he asked the student to look carefully and observe a bit more. And then he took out the carrots and put it in a bowl. He took out the eggs and put it in another bowl. And then he poured the coffee into a third bowl. And he asked the student to observe what he saw. And he said that these three things faced the same adversity, but they responded differently. They faced the same adversity, but they responded differently. And he wanted to teach his, his student a lesson. How do we respond to different challenges in our life? And inshallah, we'll continue our next segment and tell you what the sheikh told his murid, told his student, how to respond to these different challenges. لي فقد عز النصير ولم أجد إلا كعونا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumwa, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, Those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, he who makes hedge, and during which does not transgress in word or action, will be forgiven his sins, to become sinless like a newborn. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to observe Salatul Jum'ah, to perform Salatul Jum'ah every Friday. And so I want to invite you to come to the Islamic Home next Friday, 1 p.m. Uh, for the Juma experience to enjoy Juma at the Islamic Forum, the weekly Friday congregational prayer. It starts at 1 p.m. Once again, the time remains the same throughout the year. Our Juma program starts at 1 p.m. throughout the year. So we hope you can uh, visit us at the Islamic Forum next Friday, 1 p.m. for Salatul Juma. Uh, and tell others to come as well. Invite your family, relatives, and friends to come to the Islamic Forum for Juma. For those of you who are not able to uh, come to the Islamic Forum for Juma, you can still see the broadcast of uh, the khutbah on the, our YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and search for the Sheikh Faisal YouTube channel, and the, you will be able to see the Juma khutbah there, inshallah. Our story for this week, uh, uh, an important and a wonderful lesson for us all. So the sheikh asked the student to observe what he, he saw carefully. The student said he saw carrots, eggs, and coffee. The, uh, the sheikh then asked his student to hold the carrots. And when he hold them, he, felt he, re he immediately realized that it was different from what it was before. 
the, the carrots went into that water hard and strong, and now it was soft and malleable. The eggs was fragile before, just that shell around the egg that protected it, uh, the liquid inside. After being boiled in the water, now the egg was form and hard, hard boiled eggs. The coffee beans now was different. It went into that water and the water changed. It became coffee. And so it is said that these three things faced the same adversity, boiling, boiling water, boiling water, but they responded in different ways. And so the coffee, strong and hard at the beginning, faces adversity, sorry, the carrots, strong and hard at the beginning, face the adversity, became soft and weak. The egg on the outside was form, on the inside was soft, liquid, faces adversity, remained the same in the outside, that shell, but inside was hard, a hard-boiled egg. And the coffee, on the other hand, did something different. The adversity didn't change it. The coffee changed the adversity. That boiling water became coffee. And so it is. Think about the adversities you are faced with in life. Uh, don't behave like the carrot or the eggs. Be like the coffee beans. Change the adversity, the challenges and trials we are facing in life for our advantage. Change that difficulty into an opportunity to be better. Every time life throws difficulty, difficult circumstances at you, then become stronger. Have that resolve to, to build yourself to become stronger. And the starting point for this is Iman Billahi Ta'ala. This Iman and faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And then this is nourished, cultivated, manifested by following the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I tell you, in, in all our situations that we are faced with, when you look to the example, to the life, to the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him, you will find an answer to your questions. You will find uh, how it is you should behave when you're faced with different challenges and situations in life. You ask yourself, how would the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, behave in this situation? How would he respond? And that is your answer. And that is what I want to share with you today. Sometimes in life, you, you may be strong and then you're faced with a difficulty, with a challenge, you become weak and you succumb to that situation and that circumstance, whatever it is. Um, you become weak and you start to change and you uh, you forget your principles, forget your beliefs, forget who and what you are and start doing things that you should, should not do. And God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, warns us about this in the Quran. وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنفُسَهُمْ Don't be like those who forget Allah and He caused them to forget themselves. And when we forget ourselves who and what we are, we behave in terrible ways. Always remember who we are. We are servant of, of God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's how we want to behave. So, strong at the beginning, face with adversity, you change. Don't do that. Be like the coffee bean. Or, uh, sometimes you, you have this outer shell of strength, and then you face with adversity, and then inside your, your, your inner being changes, becomes hard or hardened. The heart becomes hard. You, you, you're faced with some difficulty in, in life and it affects you that you become bitter. Uh, you, you have this feeling that you want to avenge whatever wrongs were committed against you and this revenge or feelings or desire for revenge consumes you. Uh, you, you start hating others because you're hard inside. This, this heart has become, the heart has become hardened because of 
situations you are faced with. Maybe someone committed wrong things against you, transgressed on your rights and so on, committed acts of tyranny and oppression against you. But Islam teaches us something else. The heart should remain soft. Be like the coffee beans. Don't allow people to dictate to you how you behave. You dictate how you should behave regardless of the circumstances. Be like the coffee bean. <laughs> Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please, donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I want to remind you of the upcoming programs at Islamic Forum, the annual Curry Q Festival on Sunday, March 29th. Please reserve that date and join us for this wonderful program. Tell your family, relatives, and friends to come with you. And then the annual Hafla on starting Friday, April the 3rd for the entire weekend, the Good Friday, Easter weekend for the annual Hafla or Islamic Festival. We hope you can join us for that. We need some sponsors for these programs. We divided the expense of the program uh, in the shares of $50 each. We hope you can contribute one or more share today. Contact Islamic Forum or go to the website and make your donations of the shares for the Islamic Forum, inshallah. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to thank all our sponsors and donors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and hope you can commit yourself for a monthly donation to the Islamic Forum today. Until we meet again, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لا ظل عونا بكماله كشفاة دجا بجماله حسنا جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله لا ظل عونا بكماله كشفاة Oh.